OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want a formula that will allow you to calculate the monthly repayments on a loan. So I'm borrowing $25,000 over five years with a 9% interest rate. Now the function we're going to use for this calculation is the PMT function. PMT has three mandatory arguments and two non-mandatory. Now the first mandatory argument is rate. So what's our interest rate for the loan? Well, that's stored here in C3. Now because we're calculating monthly repayments, we need to divide this value by 12. This is an annual interest rate. We're working out monthly repayments. There are 12 months in a year, so we divide this by 12, comma. N per number of periods, so number of repayments. Now our loan term is five years, so I'm going to reference C4. But again, because we're calculating monthly repayments, we need to return the number of months, not the number of years. So I need to times that amount, times the five by 12, comma, present value. Now the present value is the loan amount, the amount that we need to repay. Now I'll come on to these two non-mandatory arguments in a moment. For now, we'll close the bracket and press enter. So you can see that the monthly repayments are going to be $518.96. Now we are getting a negative value there. If you want a positive value, then just put a minus sign in front of your formula. And now we have a positive monthly payment amount. Now let's have a look at those non-mandatory arguments. The first is future value. So in other words, what balance do you want to reach after the last payment? Now, by default, that's zero, and that's probably the case for you. You're looking to pay off the loan in full. So we can leave that as it is, comma. Now, type allows you to specify whether you're going to make your repayments at the end of the month or the beginning of the month. If you make them at the beginning of the month, then the repayment is slightly lower. I'll show you that. $515.10 rather than the default, $518.96. We'll leave those two non-mandatory arguments in their default state. Our next step is to work out the total value of the loan. So what is the total repayment value? Now to do that, we would multiply the monthly payment value by the number of repayments. So that would be equals the monthly payment amount times the loan term in years, times 12. So $31,137.53. So the total interest would be the total amount paid minus the loan amount. So you can see that we're actually paying $6,137.53 in interest. Now with these calculations at hand, we can start to play around with the variables in the loan to see if we can reduce the total interest paid. So what I'm doing here is I'm borrowing $300,000 for a house purchase. I've got an interest rate of 6% and I'm paying it over 30 years. So my monthly payment is nearly $1,800. But you can see that the total interest amount is huge. It's actually more than the original amount that I borrowed. Now, obviously, if I reduce the interest rate to something like 5%, it does reduce the total interest paid. Now, let's assume we still have a 6% interest rate. The other thing that can really reduce the total interest paid is the loan term. If I reduce this to 25 years, you can see I'm paying a lot less interest over the term of the loan. If I reduce it to 10 years, you may have an unaffordable monthly payment amount, but look at the total interest paid. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.